Another vlog number five. Delivery at 10, 10 hours. So, a couple of things have happened in this not vlogging sort of style. First thing that's happened is my mate Duran flew his separate lift thrust for more than 10 hours over the weekend, which is amazing. Uh, I think it's called an Alti transition, but I'm not sure. It's certainly not the Alti reach, which is the big one, which I saw on his website for the first time today. So I'm getting them on um, drone stuff this week or tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, to talk about that. I want to find out about that thing. I think it was uh, 20 hours plus endurance with uh, an eight kilo load and uh, what was the other thing? Oh, six metre wings. So I want to find out all about that. And I'm also interested because I flew, I flew our cargo flight, our, my, my drone delivery simulated flight this morning. I flew it at 10 o'clock because I thought that would be a good time for, um, for traffic to be around. And I flew it deliberately over First, my mate Vic's airfield, so it'll fly over that. Then secondly, over the airfield at Peter Maritzburg, and uh, then Howick, and then and then en route over Midmar Dam to, to us. I was amazed it took uh, under an hour. That that did surprise me, and not, not a single thing got in the way. Um, there was a Namibian flight from the north, and it was above 30,000 feet when it passed over me, so there was zero conflicts. Um, so I was pretty sure that that was going to be a a good one, really. I, you know, I I, I knew that was going to happen. There's no aircraft here, so it shows we've got to repeat this experiment somewhere where there's aeroplanes. Um, I'm stood in the field because this is going to be one of the last times I'm stood in this field because we're moving house. We can still use it. But we're going to be living up the road, and where we're going to be living up the road has got a pretty steep garden down to a lake. And all of a sudden, easy wheezy, let's get busy. I'm going to need a separate lift thrust instead of a conventional aircraft. And I've poo pooed them. And part of the reason I've poo pooed them for so long is I, I, I didn't think they'd have the endurance and I didn't understand the drag. Duran has kind of put that one to the bed a little bit with his more than 10 hour flight as an expected 22 hours of endurance on his next one so I you know, can probably park that one and I kind of want one myself now because um, it would be fun to see not one of Durand's I can't afford it but it'd be fun to see just how well they really do work in the real world so I think I might have to build one um, and the other another friend of mine lives just across the lake and I can see his house so it's within visual line of sight to drive to his house is a 25 kilometer drive so it would suit me to be able to deliver something about 500 meters to save me 25 kilometers of driving so other things to think about in our newsy world what else has happened in the newsy world well i won't really talk about the newsy world we'll get duran on tomorrow on drone stuff this week to tell me all about that new platform we'll also talk about uh what agriculture's really doing. It's the end of the first part 107 growing season. We'll see whether it's really made any difference. And we'll also talk about whatever else comes up. I don't think Gene will be on. He's still busy doing his Houston, Texas uh, rescue stuff, basically. Um, but as soon as he's available, we'll find out from him just what went on there. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. And uh, with that, I say, just like on the live thing, I'm rubbish at finishing this. Cheers.